Hello and welcome to another episode of Word Mentality on Grammar and Thongs, where I look at the origin of words or phrases. Uh, in this case, I'm going to do both. We're looking at the phrase, the cat's pyjamas, an old-fashioned phrase, but also the spelling of pyjamas, because in England and in Australia, we spell pyjamas like this, with a Y as the second letter. But if you're in America, you would spell pyjamas like this. So which one is right? Or is there a correct answer? Let's have a look at the origin of the word and see if we can work it out. You need to go back to India in about 1800 to find the origin of the word, and it comes from this word. Let me just change the colour of my pen. It comes from this word, pyjamas, which in those days um, referred to those loose-fitting trousers that were sort of tied at the waist that were popular, uh, particularly among uh, Muslim men in India around 1800. It then later on became a Hindu word that was spelt... Pajamas. So you can see that it's the same as the American spelling. And then it didn't come into America in print until 1845 is the first reference, where it is spelt this way. And that was around the same time that America was changing or standardising other spellings that simplified words, such as colour, dropping the U, or meter, ending in ER instead of RE. And these were seen as logical um, changes to the spelling of the words. Uh, it may also be the same with pyjamas. Uh, if, you, if you prefer this spelling, well, it is the closest to the original, but you could also argue that if you pronounce this pyjamas, then this spelling would seem to make more sense. Uh, but certainly the closest to the original is the American spelling. Now, what is the cat's pyjamas? Well, to know, uh, you may not have heard of this saying, it's quite old-fashioned, but if you go back to the 1920s in America, that's where it came from. This was the jazz era, and there were young women who were known as flappers, and they were trendy young women who used to go out, listen to jazz, and they were very cool, and they had cool ways of speaking, and they had these sort of nonsensical terms that they came up with to refer to something that they thought was really great. Uh, so the cat's pyjamas was one of those. Like, oh, they, they might say, that band, they're the cat's pyjamas. Uh, there were lots of these sayings. Another one is, um, they're the pig's wings. So you can see they don't make sense. They tend to involve an animal, and they're not really make sense after that. And barely any of them have survived. In fact, the only two that I can think of that I've heard in my lifetime are the cat's pyjamas, but usually said in a sort of um, knowing way that you know it's an old-fashioned term. But there is one that you might have heard of, and that's the bee's knees. If something is the bee's knees, then it's really good. I've heard it um, sort of explained that the bee's knees is, is actually means business, like business. Uh, just pronounced in a funny way, or even that it's uh, an abbreviation of the B's and E's as in the be-alls and end-alls. But I don't uh, agree with either of those or believe either of those. It's just another one of these nonsensical terms from that jazz era where it was cool to say things like, oh, they're the pig's wings, the cat's pyjamas, or the bee's knees. So that's the cat's pyjamas. I suppose, seeing as it is from America in the 1920s, then this is probably the correct spelling when using that phrase. But because I'm in Australia, I'm going to stick with this spelling here. That's the cat's pyjamas. Thanks.